Side you want to hold this too? Yes, yes. absolutely. Come here. It's got a photo booth going. It Here's says, it says first day of school. Yeah. Ready? I'm cute. Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling prepared. Our teachers have worked really hard over the last week and over the summer to be prepared. So it's just a different way to do school, but we're ready. We're really waiting for these little kiddos to come in and just get the year started. You know, I'm excited that we're back. It's been, uh, it's been a long six months or so uh, that we've been back here with the kids. And, uh, you know, it's good to see their smiling faces underneath their mask. You can, you can see that in their eyes, I guess. But uh, it's, we're happy to be back. Right Forehead right there, honey. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Try it again. There you go. Perfect. You're good. I'm excited. I, I'm excited to see students this morning. So, uh, you know, we've, we've done a lot of things virtually, but uh, to be able to have students back in the building is really exciting for us. Well, I think the most pressing thought is that we're glad to have kids back in person. You know, it's been six months and two days since we, we closed our doors March 13th uh, to kids. Uh, and so to have them back is a positive sign. I think a step in the right direction. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to getting more and more of our kids back and hopefully we do this well and the restrictions ease up and we can get all of our kids back, which would be ultimately our goal. I think, I think there's a lot of anxiety around here it's just as far as see how this is going to go. I don't think it's just Batavia. I think it's a, just a, a global issue for, for how kids are coming to school this week, at least in this area. He's nervous, right? This is all new and temperature checks and attestations every morning. And, you know, I think our staff are, uh, you know, hesitant and nervous a little bit, but uh, I think once you see kids, I think things start to feel a little bit more normal, back to normal, and you know they're excited to see their peers and then their teachers, and so, you know, nervous, um, you know, and, and obviously cautiously optimistic that we'll get back to normal sooner than later. Little by little, get through it. I think we're still going to be able to do some good teaching and learning. Uh, I think our virtual experience is going to get better than it was in the past, so I'm excited about that at least. That even if kids aren't here, they're still going to be connected to their teachers. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we got a job to do, and that's to graduate kids and move them on to the next grade level. So we're going to do that. Day number one. Hope you're ready. I think kids are excited. We've done a lot of prep work. We had a lot of events, you know, the popsicles with the principal. I've called every kindergarten family and asked, you know, if they needed anything. Put out a lot of correspondence on our social media. So we feel ready. You know, we'll see. We have some good systems in place this year to keep kids safe, keep kids social distance as best we can. Um, you know, our class sizes, we, we shrunk them down. We have a hybrid model this year that we're doing along with the virtual model. So it was a, it was a summer full of planning and uh, we'll see if it pays off. So I think, uh, you know, part of our challenge is going to be, uh, you know, the athletics is a big piece of our kids' experience for social experiences, you know, things like prom and things that typically come down later in the year. What I would say is that, you know, our goal is to do them more organized, following the rules of social distancing. We are going to be able to do sports starting on the 21st, our practices. Um, not all the sports, you know, like football has got moved to March. So I think that'll help kids feel a little bit more normal in the school setting. And, you know, again, if we continue to do this well, I think it's going to be really hard for the governor and the health department to, to keep this guidance in place if we start to show that we can do this well and maybe things will, will get better. What's your name? Is it Trevor? Trevor? How old are you, Trevor? Can you say you're going to be four? What do you think about going to school? <laughs> I can't hear him. I hope the mic's picking it up. Yeah, he's, he's shy. He's iffy with his talking. It's a little nervous uh, for all of us, but I think it's good for him. He needs to start making his friends and everything. Uh, are you nervous because of the coronavirus stuff or just sending your kid off for the first time? Sending our kid off. Yeah, the sending them off for the first time. What's your name? My name is Austin, and this is my girlfriend, Jessica.